Hello and welcome to the session and in the session we are going to learn the XY charts in Excel. Now this is the second video of the series. In the previous video we had learned about how to make XY charts in Excel in only straight line formats. Okay. Today we are going to learn the XY charts in Excel where we would be focusing only on markers. Now this is the data I would be using. Now before I go ahead, it's a very simple fundamental thing that you need to understand that when I make an XY chart with only markers, that's just like a, that's a scatter plot. The primary purpose of making a scatter plot is to study the relationship between two variables. Okay, One variable is the dependent variable, one variable is the independent variable. Dependent variable is influenced by the independent variable, that is to say a change in independent variable causes a resultant change in the dependent variable. So in Excel, on the x-axis, okay, on the x-axis, whichever variable you wish to keep will always occur on the left side and on the y-axis, whichever variable you need to keep will be on the right side. So on the left side, I have salary, so I'll keep it on the x-axis. On the right side, I have car price, which I'll keep on the y-axis. So the understanding is the x-axis variable is my independent variable and the variable on my y-axis is the dependent variable. Okay, so this is salary is my independent variable, car price is the dependent variable. So what I want to say is the car price, the price of my car would be dependent on the salary I draw. Fine, this is what I want to visualize and see through a scatter plot. So the first step in building a scatter plot or an XY chart with only markers is selecting your data. This is how I select my data. Then I go to insert, go to this tab, this part of your ribbon where you see these various icons for visualization. So this one is for scatter plots. Click on this. You find only dots. That's only for markers. Okay, this is the option that I need to select. The moment you select, boom, you get your scatter plot. Now, this is where, this is how your scatter plot looks like. On the X axis, you have your salary. On the Y axis, you have your car price. But the point is, I can't see them. The labels are not present. So, you have your quick access icons over here. So, click on this. You get the chart elements. So, just check whichever element you require. I need the axis. I need the axis title. Fine. Yeah, I need to label them. I need to have label for my axis. Then if you wish, you can have a trend line as well. Click on the trend line. Now I would rename my axis. So on the Y axis, I wish to keep my car price. Fine. And on the X axis, I'll keep my salary. Fine. Here I would rename this as scatter plot. Chart title. Fine. So now I have a complete XY chart where I have the markers, I have a trend line, I have an X axis with a label, I have a Y axis with a label and I have a chart title. So this is what you are expected to do when you are building an XY chart with only markers, which is also popularly known as a scatter plot. Now I could see that the dots or my markers are moving from left to right in an upward direction. So this signifies that there is a positive relationship between two variables. That is to say, if one variable increases, the other also increases. That is to say, the rise in salary also leads to a rise in car price. Okay. That is to say, if my salary increases, I would prefer to have a more expensive car. Fine. So I hope you like this video. Do keep visiting, like, share and spread the good word about it. Thank you for watching.